Hi everyone, it's Lynn back with another tutorial for you. Both Tracy and I are really excited to be bringing you um, what I think is absolutely beautiful. I know we've both got very excited over them and I hope that you all like what I'm about to show you. So that time of year is coming up, so how about a beautiful Lavinia Stamps Fairy in a bauble? I, I, I think they are lovely. Um, it's hard for me to show you it this way as it would hang on the camera. So I'll just show it you like that. As you can see, she's quite sparkly, she's quite twinkly, and I think it'd make a, a brilliant gift, or if you were to hang on your tree or in a window, I, I just think that, the, I, I just think the visual, I think they're the nicest baubles that um, I have seen this year. I will show you another one. This one's a bit hard to see because of the feathers in it. We keep turning it up this way, all the feathers have, have scooched up. So that is another one. And as you can see, there's feathers behind this one. These ones just want patting patting down a bit so you can see see the fairy. So I will show you how to make them. You can get everything you need off Lavinustamps.com website but basically you need these. So there are eight designs in total. Tracy has designed these especially for the bubbles. Um, so you get four to a sheet. That is the first four. And this is your your second four. Now if you're anything like me, choosing between will just be an absolute nightmare. So you'll just have to have all eight um, because it, it is so difficult, difficult to choose. So I've chosen to show you this one today. So I'll get those out of the way. And as you can see, you have your main image within a circle and then you have the little oblong on the top. All you are going to do is cut this out. All the hard work, resizing and everything has been thought of and done for you. So all you're going to do is just cut around the image. Don't worry too much if you slip off. It isn't going to, to show. It's the beauty of working with with acetate so just trying to do it quickly for you nothing worse than watching somebody cut out there we go and don't forget don't cut this off you need it so make sure you cut that um, that oblong okay and there is your image now, like I say, these come ready done for you. Um, I'm not 100% sure I'll have to speak with, with Tracy to confirm it, but um, it was mentioned about having digital downloads so you could print them out at home onto inkjet acetate, or I have used here heat resist acetate, and I've run this through through my laser printer and it's come out it's come out quite well. So either is fine. Um, there's usually a slight rougher side and that's the side that you would print on and then you've got your 
your smoother, shinier side. So at this point, if you want to do any decorating, if it's going to involve ink or um, what they're called, um, blender pens or anything like that, you would use them now and do it on the slightly rougher side. Pop it aside to dry. It is acetate, it's a slippy surface, so leave it aside to dry. And then turn it over, and if you want to do any gel pen effects, um, this is the one I'm using. It's just a white, white gel pen. And I'm on the shiny side now because it works much better. I'll just get my pen working, which it doesn't want to do. There we go. And all I've done, you don't have to do this. Obviously, decorating it is, is entirely up to you. Um, as I said, I'm only going to show you the basics of actually how to get the fairy in the bauble. Decorating it is is down to yourselves so just I've just dotted over all the little dots how well you can see that but once it's dry it, it does give quite a, a snowy a snowy effect and then I would let that dry because it does tend to slide and smudge if you are not careful. The next stage would be if you wanted to add any glitter. Now, what you have to remember is these wings are so delicate. I have tried all different ways of glittering these wings. I've done it from the other side. I've used glue and glitter. I have tried uh, heat embossing. Um, little dots with a Versa marker, only of course on the heat resist acetate, don't do that with your inkjet. I have found stickles to work the best, so just give it a squidge and as long as you keep the pressure on and just keep moving about, you do get these tiny little little dots. So I'm just going to put her to one side and bring in this one because, there we go, I've already started this one. So just squeeze your stickles about, you can put it on all the seed heads, on the flowers, you can use many different colours. The beauty of it is you don't have to be too careful and then you can put dots on whatever you want and then just these teeny tiny 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 dots all over the wing the smaller the better at least that's that is in my experience if you colour the whole thing in I've just found it just to be too heavy and overpowering you might not like that look so again it is down down to yourselves obviously you need to put her to one side now and let her dry because the, the next step, the stickles, if they're not dry, they will just pop off or they will smear and just, just make a mess. So pop her to one side to dry. And I'll bring this one back. I know this isn't glittered, but it's just to show you um, the next stage. So at this point, you need your bauble. These are available from livingyourstamps.com as well. And all you do is take hold of the lid and just pull straight up and it will pop out. Okay, and if you, it's hard to show on camera, but there is a join that goes round either side. Don't know how well you can, you can see it, but you want to try and have those to the, to the sides because obviously you don't want it down the front or the, or the back so I like to have a little pot this is just a votive um, holder and it just sits in there absolutely beautifully and you can 
work from the top or you can put it sideways and go in this way. So all you would do is turn your image sideways with the little, little tag at the top. And what you're going to do, you're going to roll your acetate from side to side gently. You don't want to squash it, you do want to keep it as, as round as possible. So just gently, you'll find it goes in usually just about three little rolls. And you just need to make it big enough so that it'll fit, sorry, small enough, so it'll fit inside your bauble. Just push, keep hold of the tag at the top, and once it gets inside it will just ping into place. If it's not quite flat, get some long nose uh, tweezers. They, these are absolutely fabulous and you can just go in and give it a little, little poke about. So there is your fairy in the bauble. And I think you'll agree it looks quite, quite effective. Um, it will spin um, until you get your other stuff in. Now at this point you would put your um, faux snow in or whatever it is you want to use. Um, these polystyrene balls are great. You don't need many, a little go a long way. You can buy faux snow, especially at this time of year. Oh, I think these are about a pound a pack and like I say, it does go a long way. Um, Christmas filaments, just the little iridescent ones, you can pop those in there. You can put little stars in. You can also stick these on the top. So like I say, decorating it is, uh, is down to, to yourselves. But for this... I'm just going to use a little bit of iridescent tinsel and I've just snipped snipped a piece off haven't measured it I've just sort of guessed really now there's two ways you can do this you can either poke the tinsel behind or you can remove your image put your tinsel in again tweezers squash it down because you want it behind the image and then again all you're going to do I've just put that in stickles is roll your image just gently slide it in Keep hold of the square at the top and there you go. Your image should just spring out and there you go. There is your fairy in the bauble all ready to go. So keep in mind there is a faint join which you don't really want at the front. I can't see mine but you can turn your image, this is where your tweezers are invaluable. If you want, you can scooch some of the tinsel round or what I actually like to do. I have just taken a bit of the tinsel and just cut upside up the stitching so you just get these loose filaments. It is messy, it will go everywhere, but So just take some, and this time we want to go down the front of, of the acetate. And then use your tweezers, just move it about, get it where you want it. If you want to add more you can, you can take away with your tweezers. You're only limited by your own imagination really. So just, there you go say it goes everywhere but there is the basics of how to get the image in and I do I, I do think they're just absolutely beautiful and then you will put your cap 
back in. I'll just stick that back on there. What I like to do is gently push these out and then just squeeze them together and pop them behind the acetate and pop your lid back on and squeeze down your metal bits. Now, as has happened there to me, one has squashed in, so just take it off, pull it out. It is a bit fiddly, but you do get better at it, although I seem to be making a nice mess of it. The trick is not to let go of the prongs until it's where you want it. So pop that behind and pop your top on. Squidge them in. Now, ideally, you want to either hot glue this on or I have found that uh, glue dots work quite well and I've just put them at 12, 3, 6 and 9. They hold it quite well. Now, mine is bowing a little bit there and that is purely because I forgot... You can see the, the acetate is sticking up over the, the neck of the bauble. So just snip it, snip it off. Now you'll find it will sit much better. So if that happens, that's all you need to do is just adjust. Because I have found, although these balls are all the same, you can get some which are slightly different. The neck isn't quite as long on some of them as on others. Just use your pokey tool, clip that out. There you go. And as you can see, that is sitting much better now. And then you decorate it well. Um, you can add glitter on here, paint. Um, you can stick the little gems on. They look nice because they catch the light. You can wrap ribbon around the top like I did on this one. Um, this one I'm going to put some of these little iridescent stars on to finish finish it off. And then all you would do is finish with a ribbon. I have found the wider the better. You get a much more pleasing finish. So just get your bow how you want it and how you're happy with it and you can fasten it to the little thing can you see there you can fasten it on there you can tie it on you can pop it on this bit if you want to and then obviously thread your ribbon through for you to, to hang it from. I, I, I hope hope you like them. Um, I, I like I say I, I just think they're absolutely beautiful and I think they're perfect for for this time of um, time of year but frankly uh, <laughs> I'll just have mine out on display all year round um, they're perfect for a gift they are perfect on your tree you can hang them in windows and um, something else um, I was looking at doing is excuse my arm maybe mounting one on a mirror or I have painted this little mini frame and I was thinking you could pop them on on there so that you have the bauble on, on a little stand, you just a, uh, a blob of hot glue there and pop it, pop it on. So they have it, I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Any questions then feel free to um, message me, I'm on Loving All Things Lavinia on Facebook 
um, you can ask questions on the Lavinia Stamps page and both Tracy and I will try our hardest to uh, keep an eye on them and uh, answer any questions you may have. Um, I hope you found the video clear. Um, I'm starting with a bit of a sinus infection so <laughs> if it's a bit garbled I, I do apologise. Okay, so I do hope you will get on board with these and have lots and lots of fun and I really look forward to you posting your pictures up so I can look at them and I can ooh and I can ah and get really excited about them um, as I'm sure Tracy will as well. So there you go, fairy in a bauble.